Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is day eight, and today Sal and I are gonna give you some gift ideas. This is our holiday gift guide based on stuff that we've used ourselves and would recommend to you. We figured we would look at stuff that we really enjoyed over the years or we thought was a really good purchase or something that we found very handy. And the first thing that we're gonna go over is some camping stuff. Uh, one of the things that we have that we use all the time whenever we go camping or hiking or even traveling yeah. uh, are these are these blankets. This is a Kelty blanket. The thing we really like about these blankets is one, they're really, really warm. Two, it's a different material on either side of the blanket. So on one side, you'll have kind of this soft, like felt material, whatever it is. And then on the other side, it's more of this like nylon kind of waterproof material. So it wraps up really easy, it's lightweight, and it actually keeps you really, really warm. So we use this when we've gone camping, we've gone on road trips, very easy to wash. It's like 25 bucks. The other thing that we really like in regards to camping, and you might have noticed this in the past video that we used, is our little portable burner. So we got this burner on Amazon, it's a gas one burner. Now, the thing we really, really like about this burner is it runs off of two types of fuel. Some burners will either run off of propane or butane. This one actually do both. So when you purchase it, it comes with an adapter. The adapter is, a, is a, a tube, so you can either hook it up to a propane canister, or you can just put a butane can right into the burner. So if you know me, you know how much I love Lady Propane, and so we usually use propane for this. But mm -hmm. this burner has come in super handy when, we go, when we've gone camping. It comes in a case. It comes in a case for easy transport. Yeah. So one more thing for the camping section would be the All Trails app. I just got that a couple months ago when I started just doing some hiking around the area because we can't travel anymore. And the app is really cool because it gives you a, like hiking trail suggestions depending on the location that you're at. You just enter a location and it'll give you a list of parks and trails. But the good thing about the paid version is that you can use it offline. So as long as you download the map that you're using before you lose signal, you'll still be able to find your way. And I learned this the hard way because one of the first hikes that I went by myself without cell, I didn't have the paid version and I lost signal and I was lost. <laughs> and there's proof of that in that video. So after that, I decided to go with the paid version. So that way I could always have a map. And then it also records like your miles and you know, which trails you've done. So that's fun. And another nice thing is that you can do like an emergency contact. Once you put it in there and you start your trail, it'll notify your emergency contact like how far you've been or maybe like you haven't reached a certain point and so in case something happens you know the app will alert that emergency contact um for a year subscription it's 30 dollars, so it's not too bad and if you know somebody that likes to go hiking or wants to start hiking um this would be a good thing for them to use and if you find a sale you could even get it up to 50 percent off because i actually ended up getting the app for about $15 for the year. I guess we can go into kind of like the camera section. This little Instax camera is a lot of fun and it's, it's cool because you get your photos right away. You know, whereas like right now, most of our photos tend to live online on social media. I don't, I know that we are really bad about printing our photos. Yeah. And so I like that this one, you immediately get something physical out of it. And it's just really fun to use. If the person that you're thinking of already has one of these, then maybe you could get them like a little mini photo album like this if they don't have one already. But I like this because I can display the photos. So now I don't just end up with a little pile of them. You know, I can organize them in here and it's just a nice way of keeping them. Everybody uses some sort of selfie stick nowadays. And so I got some pretty good ones. <laughs> This one is the heavy duty one. So you could use this for your phone if you wanted to, or even a camera. It's, it's, also, all... it's also really good for self-defense. <laughs> yeah, it's it all some, metal. <laughs> it's all metal. We purchased this while traveling because our other selfie sticks were breaking. Mm -hmm. So if you know someone who's traveling or they're gonna go on a road trip or whatever, this heavy duty bad boy, um, you can throw it in a bag and you don't worry about the plastic break or anything like that because it's all metal. What's nice too is like it has a really good uh, ball head at the top for a camera. So you know you can adjust this. The brand is uh, Sir... 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 Siri. It's hard to say but I'll have it on there. <laughs> Sirui. Sirui. S-I-R-U-I. No, I know it's not pronounced like that. Sirui. <laughs> so this one is more of just like a handle. This part comes by itself. But what's cool is that it has a charging port. It has both USB 
and USB-C on it. But you can, if you already have one, or you can purchase one, attach the phone holder to the top. And so now if you're using your phone or whatever, and it's running low battery, you can connect it straight to your handle. So that's what I like about that, especially if you're gonna be out like hiking or something, or traveling, and you need to charge it, boom, it's right there, and you can still use it while you're doing your thing. If you want to, you can attach this mini tripod, so tiny, to the bottom of this handle here. So that's what's cool about the handle, there's the two attachment points. And now you have like this full out uh, handle selfie stick type thing with a tripod and your holder and it charges too. And this one's pretty solid as well. Um, and this little bottom part's like eight bucks. So if you want the whole thing, it might end up costing about 50 bucks. I have the strap by Peak Design. So this is the regular camera strap, but they also make the wrist strap. They have these little attachments that they come with. And so I just leave these on the cameras and I have some on both of my cameras. They live there. But now I can use the straps with any camera and it easily, I don't know if you can see that, it easily snaps in and easily snaps out. So like if I don't want it, I can take it off. If I need it really quickly, boom, it snaps on. And it's the same thing since it's the same brand with the strap. So I can switch easily to the wrist strap like that, boom. And they're very strong. So I would definitely trust the brand Peak Design. They also make bags. And this is a small camera bag, which is really good for traveling or, I mean, it doesn't even have to be traveling. Like if you're in town and you're only gonna go do some video or photos like downtown or you're not needing to take a whole bunch of stuff, this small bag can surprisingly fit a good amount, a camera, a lens, and then even little extra stuff. We actually used this. This was our main bag when we were traveling in Thailand for yeah. 30 days. So it could hold enough camera and camera accessories for Christy to be able to get footage, but also hold like our passports or wallet. wallet, whatever. And it was so secure I could wear wear the pouch on the front or on yeah, the back, on my side, like whatever. Sling. So it was it was attached, secured to my body. Um, 100%, it, we'd get caught in the rain, things would stay dry on the inside. Yeah, the material's really good. So, it, awesome bag, definitely worth the investment if you're gonna be traveling, especially if you have camera gear. The inside, so again, it has two dividers though. These, you can adjust, and you can fully take them out, and they're like customizable on the inside. It has these pockets for like camera batteries or whatever you wanna put in there, and one small pocket in the front. Um, yeah, this really nice bag. All right, so we just finished up with the camera stuff, and I think now would be a good time to move into the alcohol stuff. Oh. <laughs> so if you know someone who's a scotch drinker, or maybe an Irish whiskey drinker, any kind of whiskey, um, I would definitely recommend looking into and finding out if they have a Glen Karen. So this funky little glass right here looks really funny, okay? It has a large bulb on the bottom, and it tapers at the top. This allows you to pour whiskey in and kind of swirl it around and really lets you nose the whiskey. So you can, it, you can get all the, all the smells, all the scents from the whiskey and really appreciate the flavor of it a lot more than if you have a big open glass that's just giant at the top. So this is a really great glass for anybody that you know who really enjoys whiskey, who really wants to appreciate the taste of whiskey and if they don't have a glass like this, you can definitely buy it and they'll probably know what it is and, and enjoy it. Even if they already have one glass, it's not a bad idea to get them another one. Uh, I have two myself because sometimes I have friends over in the before times. And yeah, like I love breaking out my Glencairns and showing them how to use it and just really enjoying the whiskey. So a Glencairn, really great glass to get for someone. And you can get it on um, Amazon or any kind of small whiskey store. You probably find like Specs or Total Wine, and you're looking at like 15 bucks for a glass, but definitely worth it. Well, up next is beer. So I'm not much of a whiskey or scotch drinker, but I do like beer. You can get your beer drinker one of these, a growler. And the cool thing about the growler is you can buy it already filled or gift it already filled with beer. If you go to a local brewery that you have, um, that's also really cool, you know, basically gifting somebody some craft beer from a local brewery and now you're supporting the brewery, especially right now, they need a lot of help. Yeah. Um, and just depends like where you get your growler. Um, several breweries have their own or you can probably find one online. They all look different. This is a really old school one that we got from Alamo Draft House a long time ago. 
super cool handle and everything. And then this one is from Freetail, a local brewery here. And we have some ideas for pet stuff. Ooh. So if you have some friends or family who are pet owners, or maybe you just want to get a gift for a pet. Uh, for yourself. For, for your yourself. Own for your own pet. <laughs> Uh, here are two things that we bought. These are very inexpensive uh, pet accessories that we think are just like the bee's knees. So the first one would be an easy walk. You may have noticed in videos us walking our dogs and everyone always says, oh, they walk so well, they're so good. Uh, we attribute a lot of that to the easy walk. The easy walk is a different kind of harness. It's kind of funky to put on, but once you get it on the dog and you get used to like how to wrap it, once you get it on them, also sees it in easy oh, walk. Like, that's my easy <laughs> that's walk. My easy walk. <laughs> it has it has the uh, D ring on the front of the harness. So what's really nice about that is when the dog starts to run forward and they try to like run away from you, it actually pulls them from the front and kind of turns them left or right. And so it's kind of a self-correcting thing rather than the the ring being on the back and now the dog is just pulling against a ring. Well, the harder they pull, the harder it's going to turn them, and it immediately teaches them I can't do that. And throwing this on also on Harley, I mean, it was day and night as well, uh, from how much they did not listen to how much they started to listen once we got the easy walk on them. So this is a really great harness. And the other thing I really like about it, uh, as opposed to like a leash, is it doesn't choke them. Mm -hmm. So like the actual leash, you hook, you hook the leash up to the collar and it chokes them and the dogs are choking and coughing. It's just, it's really not that great really safe, effective way to walk your dogs. They're also very durable. We've had these for years. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I mean, they're still working perfectly fine. Yeah. The other product that we really like, this is for dogs that shed a lot. So if you have long haired dogs or dogs that just happen to shed, this little device is called a Furminator. Again, it's like 20, 25 bucks. You can find it at PetSmart or whatever. And it's, it's a really great way to like strip some of the fur off of your dog. It has a little button that pushes the fur back off and you just throw it away. So if you have like schnauzers, if you have huskies, whatever, it's a great fur control tool to have. Um, just getting the fur off the dog rather than getting the fur off your couch. So really, really highly recommend having a furminator in your back pocket. Up next, um, let's talk about any of your friends who are into vinyl. And so if you have friends that like to go like looking for vinyl at flea markets or garage sales, you know, those records can be dirty. This is a spin clean record cleaner and it works like this. So you got a dirty record. This is an old one, so don't worry. Uh, you just stick it in here. It works better when it's wet, but once it's in there, you spin it. And in here you can pour like water in a solution. So it comes with a kit, with the water and the cleaning solution. And as you spin it, it's cleaning the record from all the dirt, the dirt and the dust and the grime. Some smaller accessories, could be stocking stuffers are a record brush. Again, you know, records can just get dusty over time. This little brush, you can just clean off some of the dust and it won't scratch it. Just gently wipe it. And then this is called an Onzo Zero Dust. And there's like a little sticky gel in here. And you can use this to clean the needle on the record player. So you just like dip the needle in here and it won't hurt the needle and it takes off all the dust that has collected on there. So since we're on the subject of hobbies, um, Christy's hobby is cameras and vinyl. <laughs> My hobby is picking up things and putting them back down. So... <laughs> heavy things. Heavy things. So if you know a gym rat or you want, you're trying to figure out a gift for someone that, you know, they go to the gym a lot, um, there's two things I could recommend. Uh, one of them would be some wrist, wrist straps. Uh, my personal wrist straps are a brand called Iron Mind. We'll put a link down in the description. They're like $20. They're a super handy accessory to have in your gym bag to take with you. They don't take up much space. But if you're doing any kind of pulling motions, so you're pulling things off the ground, um, carrying things, whatever, they're just a really good way to supplement your training if your grip starts to become the limiting factor. So if you're trying to work your back and, well, your back can handle more weight than your grip, wrist straps might be a good uh, thing to help you get through that sticking point. So that would be a very inexpensive gift for someone who's going to the gym. Now, if you have someone who goes to the gym, you really want to like, wow, I would recommend a gym bag. And my personal gym bag is by a company called King Kong. This thing is freaking awesome. Like, I don't think I'll ever need to buy another gym bag in my entire life. And I've taken, we, we took it with us when we went to uh, San Francisco. 
It fits perfectly into the overhead bin. So like I had my gym stuff in here, some an extra pair of clothes, everything right into the overhead bin. Two features about this bag that I really, really enjoy is the one feature here, it has some slots on the side. So you can actually put your lifting belt in these slots. It'll hold your lifting belt on the outside. So if you have someone who uses a lifting belt, they don't need to wrap it up and it, that lifting belt take up space on the inside of the bag. Rather, the lifting belt sits around the outside of the bag. So it's a really efficient design that helps hold that lifting belt. The other thing I really like about this bag is this pocket over here is actually designed for shoes. So if your shoes are all stinky, you have some lifting shoes, whatever, you don't really want the shoes touching the rest of your clothes because your shoes touch the ground, this pocket over here, you just stick your shoes in there, it's a separate compartment, and you can zip it right up. So I believe this bag is about $120, but I'll be honest with you, I, as durable as it's put together, and as just heavy duty as it is, and as like, just all around useful. I don't ever see myself buying another gym bag for the rest of my life. One last category that we want to uh, suggest is maybe buying your gift from a small business. We have a friend of ours, Eli Sanchez. He has a small business. You can find it at uh, www.cleanhousesoap.com. He, he gifted us with some soaps and these things are freaking amazing. Like. They, they're actual soaps. So usually yeah. when you go to the store, you, you see stuff, it's like body wash, you know, whatever it is. Like apparently there's certain, there's certain ways you have to make it in order for it to constitute or be qualified as soap. So these are actual body soaps, they're not body wash. And they come in bar form, they're all natural, and like they look amazing, yeah. they smell so beautiful. That part, like that is, I love that one, this at the edge. Like, oh yeah, it's, it, it, I don't even know what this is. It's I like know. herbs or something on the top. It just smells amazing. Same with this one, this blue one. One of our other friends who also has a small business is Lauren and she is a baker and the name of her business is Go Commando Bakery, I believe. We'll make sure to link her Instagram in the description below, but she makes awesome cakes for people and dogs. She made us a, a birthday cake for our dog and it was amazing. The dogs loved it and it was super safe. She made sure that everything in that cake was safe for the dogs to eat. She's currently doing all sorts of holiday treats and holiday boxes with different goodies. And so that's a good gift for your family or if you want to gift somebody a birthday cake. Shameless plug on the end part is think about a gym membership too. Uh, Several small gyms, we own a gym, have trial memberships that people can sign up for. You know, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, whatever. January is usually the time that people wanna get back in shape and, and make that their healthiest year. So think about looking into a local gym in your area or in the area of someone that you wanna gift with and see if they have any kind of holiday specials or any kind of New Year's specials that you can purchase ahead of time and provide that as a, as a, uh, as a gift. So, and if you're anywhere near Watchdog Street, Okay, so visit. I like poopies, and that's why I like poopy cakes. I don't know that. But that's not even from natural. Yeah, the girl, she's like, I like poopies, and he's like, No way! Everything you just said are my favorite oh, things okay, too. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> All right, well, close enough. Hey guys, we hope that some of these things helped you out in giving you a gift idea for somebody else, or even yourself. Um, if you have any questions on any of these items, just let us know in the comments and we'll try to answer those questions for you. Definitely not sponsored by any of these things. Nobody paid us. They're all stuff that we've used ourselves and we would highly recommend. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.